Thank you both very much. Um, so my question is about the relationship between ambition and drive and human flourishing. Um, so Professor Markovitz, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but the way I understand your model is that there would be sort of less of a premium on ambition and drive. Um, do you think that's sort of a longer term issue as far as um, cementing the divisions that exist under your system because then people will be less likely to move? Um, and you know, I, I, I do, I take the point that a lot of us at Yale Law School come from elite backgrounds, but many of us, you know, myself included, are children of immigrants or come from poor families. So um, I think that's, that's something that would be good to hear more about. Um, and from Dr. Brooke, um, do you think that uh, capitalism and this sort of endless drive to create the next, you know, big thing can actually reduce human flourishing? Uh, maybe if we weren't all trying to be elite lawyers, we could be artists or poets um, or, you know, statesmen, things like this. So, so sort of thinking about uh, what drives people to be their best human beings, uh, how do you both think about that? Sure, I'm happy to. Uh, it is me. I mean, it, that's an interesting question, but it's capitalism that creates the wealth that makes it possible for us to become consumers of poetry and art and music. It is no accident that the 19th century saw a huge flourishing of art. Beethoven was the first composer ever to be able to actually make money off of his music and wasn't dependent on some aristocrat or some church leader because he could put on a concert and sell tickets. That is what capitalism made possible. My, my children are both went into entertainment, right? Um, because I told them to follow their passion. And, and part of the reason is, is we live in such a rich culture that many, 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 many people are going to go into entertainment because we have so much money and so much leisure time to be able to consume that entertainment and those arts and those things. So if anything, capitalism and the arts go hand in hand. It is the wealth creation that capitalism makes possible that makes possible the flourishing in the arts.